Hi, it's been a bit of a while once again. I'm Annie and I'm coming to you today with a spring TBR video. In December, I did promise I would be making my soft return to booktube, but I went on a bit of a break again, which was completely unintended. But to be fair on me, I haven't really had any time to read for fun. And to be fair on me for that, here is just the PDFs of the stuff I've had to read for uni. These last two and a half months. This is an option, <laughs> what am I saying? This is an obnoxious amount of reading and it's missing all the actual books I've read for uni. My, my first period was a bit, not first period, my third period was a bit intense, but I be missing reading. I said that the last time and I'm saying it again, but that's why today I'm gonna make a chill. We're choosing the books I wanna read these next three-ish months and yeah, let's just jump into the books I want to be reading. We've zoomed out and I first want to mention a book that I bought last Saturday and I started reading last Saturday and I just, I love just having it as like fun, soft read, I can read, just to chill, just to chill, do nothing but chill and relax. And that is The Road to Neverwinter by Jelly Johnson, I don't know how that name is pronounced, I've never just seen that name, probably have, I'm just being an idiot but this is a Dungeons and Dragons Honor Amongst Thieves prequel novella novel not novel <laughs> what am I saying a novel um and last year I absolutely bloody loved Honor Amongst Thieves it just it felt like fantasy genre action adventure type of a flick from the early 2000s that I've been missing and so far this book has been giving me those same soft comforting vibes and I love the fact that I can just return to characters I already know but so far I've been really loving this so this and uh, when I'm done with this book I will be coming out with a video of the books that I have read for fun uh, this year because I've, I've read a few very short books so I've done some funsies reading just of my own choosing. But now let's actually look at my shelves. So there's the idea. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just browsing the selection. Um, I actually, I do feel like I've got to put this on the list. A bit more fantasy, because like I was meant to finish this in December and I didn't. And then I was meant to finish it when the year started and I didn't. And I'm still halfway through *The Fall of the Kings* by Ellen Kushner and Delia Sherman, which is the third book in. The Riverside trilogy, which is kind of a companion series, it's set in this world where, which is a fantasy world, but they don't have any magic. It's it's um, fantasy of manners, so it's kind of like just historical, but with a fake world. But in this series, magic might be making a return, but at least wizards and kings are making their return, and it's very dark academia in a fantasy setting. And I've really loved it so far. I just I just put it down. I was exhausted and and you know stuff happens but I do want to finish this before the summer comes because yeah I just I just do so this I don't think I'll be putting another fancy book on my tea but uh, I'm not gonna read it before the summer I uh, I'm, I'm just I'm not gonna if I am I will read it but if I put it on my TBR I'm definitely not going to read it, so I'm not going to put that book on my TBR, so I'm just rambling for nothing. I'm not going to put any other fantasy books on my TBR, but looking at my sci-fi books. June just came out, June part two, and uh, has it been my favourite film of the year? Yeah, it's been my favourite film of the year. Obviously, it's probably going to be one of my top ten films of all time. It was absolutely fantastic, but instead of going into Children of Dune, which is their next book in the series that I should read, I kind of want to reread Dune. Do you have the time to start rereading Dune? I wanna, I wanna start rereading it. I'm not gonna reread it very slowly, but I'm just gonna put it on my TV as, as I like. Not something I will finish in the spring, but something I will be allowed to start reading in the spring. Uh, another thing that I wanna do is obviously do my Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy reread. I did my last one in September, but I kind of already wanna do my next one. And I'll actually purchase the things four and five and annotate them and finally make my video of why I absolutely hate the fifth book because it's garbage. It's not garbage but it's just not that great but we're not going to talk about that today. I don't think I'll be taking anything off of my horrory shelf because I'm just not feeling horrory at the minute. It's, it's spring. I want some light reading, some fun reading, some murder. <laughs> um, 
Historical fiction is another show which I don't think I'm gonna touch. Not because I don't want to read historical fiction, just because never mind. Ah, uh, okay, if I've half the time, there are two books that are kind of calling to me. Okay, this is not gonna be books I will definitely read in the spring, just kind of books I want to choose from in the spring. One book that is calling to me is Hardy Gary, because it's short and it's, I think it's a, I don't know if it's satire, but it's like a funny. Uh, medieval story and I've been studying a lot of medieval history <laughs> really history it is the year of our lord 1349 and it is the season of the plague brother Diggory's life is about to change the sickness is creeping ever closer and the monks of his order must attend to the afflicted he's about to meet the plague what he doesn't realize is that encountering an illness and understanding it are two quite different things I still don't know what it's about, but it's a satirical take of the life of a monk. And I just studied late medieval philosophy, which is basically just studying late medieval theology. Not because medieval philosophy is medieval theology, but just because we focus in a we focus in on a lot of medieval theology. So like, I think this fits. It's exactly the right period. I just want it. You know, I'm feeling medieval. Uh, but the other book that I'm kind of interested in after my fantasy reads, because it's kind of fantasy, is Prideful, which is a book I've been stalling on reading since I bought it back in 2020. And Robin Hood is just calling to me at the minute. I don't know, I'm just, that's, that's the vibe I'm feeling. Okay, you can't see it, but I'm looking at my uh, young adult section. And uh, there's one thing that is actually calling to me. It's, it's, it's down there at the bottom for a reason. Um, but Bitter by Ekwe Gemezi. I was actually meant to read this in January or February and then I didn't. But I'm gonna read it. Re -re I'm gonna read it this year because I read Pet last year and I really enjoyed it. And I've read, have I read something else by Ekwe Gemezi? Oh, yeah, I did. Um, um, The Death of Vivagoji. And uh, this is the next one I own. After a childhood in foster care, Bitter is thrilled to have been chosen to attend Eucalyptus, a special school where she can focus on her painting. But outside this haven, the streets are filled with protest against the deep injustices that grip the city of Lucille. That's all we need to know. It's 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 good YA. I'm not much of a YA read any longer. I haven't been for years, and I'm less so every year. But Aquagum has they just. They I don't know. They hit all the right notes with Pat and have done with all their work. So just, if I have the time or if I have, if I'm in the mood, I will pick this up. That is me being done with a shelf. So we're just going to move a bit here. Should we move us? No. I'm not going to move us. I'm sorry. This is low effort. I'm not going to move you. You know, I bought these last year. Uh, as a birthday present for myself. You know, stuff you do which you regret once you start uni and you're like, why did I spend my money on that? Because now I need the money for beer. Uh, I, I do want to continue with Hellblazer. So I think I might be rereading The Family Man and then continuing on from there. Hellblazer is a fantastic comic book series about John Constantine, not Constantine, Constantine, who is an occult detective. He's a, he's a, he's a grey man cray man but like a like a like a morally cray man who ends up helping people but kind of not enjoying it and all this occult stuff is going on is really great I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry this is not very good video content but it's video content which I'm making um to distract me from you know the the next pile of pdfs I've got to read for school okay this is obviously my beautiful shelf from whence I'm not taking any books from but my classics. What classics do I want to read? <sighs> okay, next play I'm going to read is going to be by Ibsen and it's going to be, what's the next play in here? Ghosts. And I'm probably going to read it within the months because oh, I've been missing reading plays and I was meant to start the year reading Ibsen because I've only read The Doll's House, which was last year and I've loved it, but I want to continue with Ibsen. So we're going to read Ghosts. That's going to be read. I don't know what that's about, but Ibsen is a fantastic 19th century Danish playwright who writes about domestic affairs, but kind of very you know, interestingly critiquing manner. Um, much more um, 
progressive for his time that I was expecting and I absolutely loved it. I should should have been expecting that considering you know, I've read The Doll's House before but I'm an idiot who forgets things and that's why I'm in uni and reading a lot of stuff which I'll eventually forget and it will be nothing, you know, life. Um, I don't think I'll be reading anything else from the shelf or if I will be that would be me going off of my TBR but the next shelf I'm still in the middle of Frankenstein which I was reading in December and I read halfway through it and I was absolutely adoring it and I thought it was going to be my top 10 books of 2023 and then I didn't finish it uh, so I should probably like continue reading it and actually finish reading it because I do want to actually finish the books I'm reading and also it will be less pages and a book read so you know Frankenstein is about Victor Frankenstein who is a scientist and this kind of Ooh, atheist, ooh, um, I don't want to believe in magic, but ooh, uh, kind of a dude who's kind of self-obsessed, kind of, you know, relatable. And he creates this monster who is the Frankenstein's monster, not Frankenstein himself, who's actually, you know, very intelligent and kind of interesting dude. You know, that's kind of where it stopped because it got, it didn't get boring, but we, we started having a conversation with Frankenstein and I, um, I, I got a bit bored, I'm not going to lie. Um, and then I forgot to pick the book up. Oh, I avoided picking it up. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really interesting. It's very beautiful told. This is the 1818 text. I want to read the um, text that's edited by Percy Shelley after. But that's probably going to be in a couple of years. So not immediately after. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do want to finish it. It's, it's a good book. It's a good book. And I do think it's I ha it still has the potential of being a five-star read, even though I, I got a bit bored. Cause, you know, sometimes you just get a bit bored. I'm really rambling on. I, I don't know what my mood is. It's... I've been studying too much and I need a break. Okay, am I just going to mention fiction books? Because this is not going to be full school, but it's philosophy. Actually, no, we're going to have a... I'm going to success the work and I have a book club for this in the summer. Never mind, never mind, never do mind what I'm rambling on in here. Um, I'm, just, I'm looking at my lower shelf. But should I move you? When are we going to move you? We're going to be nice. We're going to move you. You can see me. You can see me. Well, I kicked... Books I've already chosen. Shakespeare. You know, I was meant to read a Shakespeare play a month. Since last summer. I've read two or one. Two or one. Or zero. I haven't done well is the point. We're gonna start doing well though. My plan is to try and read a play a week. Not a week. A play every two weeks from here on out. So one play by the end of March will be my plan and if I won't be reading Ibsen which I said is going to be my next play uh it's gonna be me rereading King Lear because I need to reread this so we're gonna be rereading King Lear I'm gonna have to do it by the end of March anyway so I'm just gonna be rereading King Lear I'm not gonna explain to you what King Lear is about google it spring okay there's not again gonna be like I want to read this book by the end of end of spring but I want to continue uh the abridged edition of Canterbury Tales so just like if I'm in the mood I want to pick this up so by the end of spring I want to at least have gotten to 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 fragment to group B so 100 pages that would be my plan or like my goal for the end of end of the spring or like for the spring because it still feels like it's winter it's actually winter in uh in, in finland at the minute so um at least by weather but you know by the end of spring mm. okay final shelf you can't even see me properly anymore oh it's it's just this is just philosophy so we're just gonna ignore that section we're gonna be talking about philosophy at the minute. When we know, we know. So that I can soon get up, I'm gonna be looking at my lower shelf here, which has got contemporary and poetry books. I have a poetry book I'm in the middle of. I found it. It is Merrill. A Merrill. A mural. By Mahmoud Darwish. Translated by by Rima Hamami and John Berger. And this is a book by the National Palest yeah, Palestinian National Poet. And I've read 20 pages. It's a single long poem, longish poem. And I've been really enjoying it. And I want to finish rereading this 
rereading. Not rereading. Why do I keep saying rereading? Because I love rereading so much. I want to finish rereading. No, Jesus Christ. I want to finish reading this by, well, you know, within the next couple of days. That's that's my plan. So that's my poetry plans. Um, the lower shelf is going to be a no-go. Nothing from there. Um, but this shelf, you know, I've read after Dark by Murakami in December and I said to myself and probably to you as well that I want to read a Murakami a month. I haven't been reading Murakami a month. Uh, I'll be reading my first Murakami which will be followed by more Murakami, not my first but first of the year, within the spring and that will be south of the border, west of the sun. I've actually started reading this one time and I'm almost halfway there. That was like three years ago, so I don't remember what it about. Growing up in the suburbs of post-war Japan, it seemed to Hajime that everyone but him had brothers and sisters. His sole companion was Shimamoto, also an only child. Together they spent long afternoons listening to her father's record collection, but when his family moved away, the two lost touch. And then they re-meet in, in the future, maybe. I think so. Moving on. Um... <laughs> I, I really, really, really want to reread Zadie Smith's NW because actually one of the books I have read this year is a, is a Zadie Smith book and she's, she's kind of my favourite, one of my favourite authors. Not, I can't say she is because this is the only five star read I've read from her but I want to read more of her works but I want to reread this first. Have a good time? Probably not. But I again, can start rereading it. You know, like I've said with other stuff. Uh, why did I'm not, I'm not actually going to take it from the shelf. I'm not going to put it on my official TV yet, but I would love to. Why am I not feeling any contemporary books? I am actually feeling contemporary. For some reason I'm looking at my shelves and just nothing is chomping at me. Looking at my last shelf, which is my um, 20th century shelf, uh, the book I'm going to be reading isn't here. Actually, it is here. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, I want to read Season of Migration to the North. I've actually taken it with me to two places already because <laughs> I was planning on reading it because I was planning on reading because I was planning on reading it and then I didn't you know how the story goes but it's actually really big font and it's a short book and it's apparently really good and I bought it last year and I do want to read the books I've purchased sooner rather than later um I'm not gonna actually have any have take anything else from here except the book that's not in here because I'm rereading re it which I'm because I'm re because I am reading it which is uh, Sister Outsider by Audre Lorde because I read most of it last year last spring winter and I forgot that I didn't finish it I literally thought that I did before I looked at my Goodreads and I was like did I forget to look at it on Goodreads and then I took it off my shelf and I was like oh I've got a couple of essays to go I am an idiot so I'll be finishing those essays this Month. I've got two more books which I've started, one of which is The Colour Purple by Alice Munro. Um, not Alice Munro, Alice Walker. Wrong Alice. <laughs> the Colour Purple by Alice Walker, which I've read till page 42, which was in like January or February, and I again put it down and forgot about it. Not didn't, didn't forget about it, it's just, you know, school stuff, and then when I haven't read something in a week, rather than continuing that, I'll just pick up a new book, which I don't finish neither. It's not a good, you know, structure or a plan. It's not a structure nor a plan. It's just the way my life's been working. Um, and the other one is, which I was already meant to finish, but, you know, instead of reading at bedtime, I've been browsing TikTok at bedtime. But it was gonna be a fast read. It should have been a fast read, but I read it one night. And then I didn't read it, so I've not been reading it. And that is The Little Prince by Anton, by Anton, Anton de Exibery. That's not the pronunciation, it's just English and French together just don't come out of my mouth. De son Exubéry. Antoine de Exubéry, that doesn't sound like correct pronunciation. My French isn't good. I've been rambling on for way too long. We're gonna go back to the original filming position and just lift the books that I've said I will read, of which I will read like less than half probably, but we have some plans. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Here is the obnoxiously large pile of books which I won't be reading by the end of the spring, but it is spring plans video, not spring TBR. I did say the spring tea, but it's a to be read. To be read does not mean have read. It means to be read. 
getting going through with those plans is not a requirement it is it is just just a hopeful wishful thinking which never actually goes through oh jesus bloody christ um welcome back welcome for the first time uh well welcome me back i will be making another video because i was gonna say you know stuff is gonna be less intense that isn't actually accurate but I will still be making a couple more videos. It's been a bit like tougher because I haven't actually had the time to film when I've had the time to film. I haven't had the ability to film is what I mean. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go. We're gonna see each other in a week or two and I'll be coming out with my reads of 2024 so far. As for today and now, um, have a good time, have a good night morning afternoon and uh stick around if this mess intrigues you uh probably you know you already know this channel because why else would we you have watched this video so far because it's an absolute mess i am trying to be back into reading once again <laughs>